So in this video, I want to show you how to make the relationships that we see in this diagram, the lines between product new and product commod and product commod and the commod table. So basically, uh, what we have to figure out is who is the child table. Typically, the way it works when you manually do it in the database is you go to the child table and you make a foreign key back to the parent table. Okay, so the parent table is usually one side and the many side is the child table. And so if we look here, many, and we look here, many. Kind of lucked out, you could think of it that way. Product, commod, in both our cases, is the child table. So we'll have to go to that table twice, make two foreign key constraints that link back to the parent tables. So we'll have to make one that links back to here. We can see the commod one. We can see the magenta arrow telling us that's the foreign key. We're also getting a little notification up here that uh, min file number, besides being a primary key in this table, is also, if we look at the notation, a foreign key back to this table and matches on min file, uh, min file number. So what we have to do is the relationships currently don't exist in the database. We have to make them. And we're going to make them manually with pgmin4. Okay. So the diagrams has given us a plan on what we have to do. So I'm going to go uh, back here to pgmin4. And this is my product commod table. So I've uh, loaded it with data. One change I did make is later on in the lab, you're also going to make a second product commod table. It has about 64 rows in it. This one only has about 59. So that they don't collide, it gave it a slightly different name. So I call it commod underscore P in this case. So I don't have a collision later on. Now to change the name of a table, it's not hard. Uh, right click on it, go properties. Might take a second to come up. And then just change the name here and save it back. That's all you got to do. Okay, and that way it won't collide. But I need to join product commod to commod, and I also need to join product commod uh, to product new. Okay, and but this case we saw in the diagram that in both cases product commod is the child table, so I go there to make the constraint. I can expand here. You can right click, go properties on the table, or you can keep drilling down to constraints. It already has a primary key. Usually. PGMin4 here will not let you do a foreign key relationship to a table that doesn't have a primary key. We're okay in this case. I've built the primary keys. Uh, Kamad has a primary key as well. So we should be pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you could right click table, go properties and drill, but I'm going to right click on the constraints of the table. It's just sort of a shortcut so I get to the proper GUI and I'm going to create a foreign key. So a foreign key from this table to the other one, okay? Now let's click here. And now I have to give this a name. And so if we, if you wanna switch back to the diagram, roll back the video, it was the table I'm in, child table underscore parent table underscore FK. Uh, it doesn't have to be that long, but uh, we'll just follow that convention. Product, commod for commodity underscore. In this case, I wanna join, who do I wanna join? I will do uh, commod since I got it ready here. Commod P. And I'll call that uh, little FK. So a foreign key from product commod to commod P. Now I have to define it uh, and that sort of thing. If it's deferrable, we'll cable val we could validate it on the way over. We can validate it uh, afterwards. No problem. We'll just leave this as is. But we got to see which columns are going to be involved. So uh, it's going to be min file number in this table, right? So this is the min file number in product commod. In that, this min file matching the min file. If we can get this expanded there. Uh, well, this one is not going to be min file. That's good that I caught that. Always look, it's going to be commod C joining commod C to this table. So commod C to commod C. That's what I want to do. The table I want to link to, this gets a little rough. Uh, this GUI could be improved and they could definitely stretch these boxes. But I want to link to the table commod P. The column I want to link to is commod C equaling commod C. And then hit the little plus icon I heard and that sort of thing. And then we go save. Okay. Now, because we didn't validate uh, right away, uh, we get it made, but it gets a little red X here. So you can just right click and validate the key afterwards. Now when it validates, what it did, it went through every row in the product commod table to make sure it had a matching row in commod P. 
right? So although we just right clicked and said, okay, validate, it actually tears through the whole table. That could be tens of thousands of rows <laughs> checking to make sure that the, uh, the foreign key is not violated. So I have a one foreign key done. So if I go back to this diagram, conceptually, I made this line down here from product commod to commod based on commod C equaling commod C. So this line is now done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on this line here uh, and that where uh, product commod, which is the tile table still in this case, the many side, is linking to the parent table product new based on min file numbers. So min file number equaling min file number. So let's go back and get that done. So we're still in the same table. So we can right click on constraints here, create another foreign key. We have to give it a name. So we'll give it, you know, one that we know won't cause a collision. Uh, so it will be, pro I'll take this as a start and change it. Okay. So it's going to be product new. So there, that looks good. Definition should be fine. We could click validate here and it uh, take that extra step out. So I'll slide that across. That's what that means. So it's as this gets created, it's going to validate it right away, which means it could fail if, if we violate uh, any uh, foreign key values. So every row in this table is going to be checked against uh, product new to make sure that there is a match. What columns are involved? Uh, min file number is involved in this case. <laughs> okay. Foreign table, we'll make this a little bit bigger again. It's going to be product new. If we can find it in the list, I can see it there. And then min file number in that particular. And then we'll add it there. So min file number equally min file number looks good. Now, when we do this, it's going to do, it's going to create the constraint, but then also validate the constraint. This might take an extra second, but when it comes in, it comes in already validated. There's no little red X on it, right? So we validated as we made it, this particular one right here. So if you can get these validated, right? Get the little red X to go away, then basically your data is good. It's cleaned and it's linked. So that's all I want to show in this video is how to make the relationships for the first part of the lab. So from product uh, commod to commod and from product commod to product new. That's all for now.